Hello there! So I bought this mouse, Razer Nega V2 Hyperspeed, and I discovered that it doesn't have support on macOS whatsoever. The only thing I needed is for those buttons on the side to do some stuff when I'm in my favorite software. So for example, in Autodesk Fusion, I want this, this, and this to be mapped to 1, 2, 3, and that's what I was able to do for free. I can press 1 on the side noon pad of the mouse, 2, 3, and look at that, those are selected. So a little bit of backstory again. So what I did, I discovered that there is this open source software that allows support for a bunch of devices, but mine is not one of them. And I discovered this software, which is great. It has UI, you can configure what, uh, it has what I need, but it's 20 bucks USD and I'm stingy. Eventually, I kind of realized that those buttons on the side of the mouse are basically just the keyboard keys in the eyes of macOS. And I found this software that can map one button to another buttons. And so essentially, the goal is to create a bunch of shortcuts like these guys, command control one, command control two, and then able to map buttons on the mouse to those shortcuts in the software of your liking and then voila you get what you want and that's what i did uh, this software carabiner is slightly more complicated than the speed mouse or mouse speed but it's manageable especially if you want it for free you can get it so what i need to do is to do this complex modifications rule and if you look at it it's a json code it's not that hard to understand there's documentation you can find on all that stuff in my case what i did and we can look at it in just Visual Studio so it's easier to understand. Uh, what you need to do is you describe your rule set and manipulators is the individual mapping from one key to another key, etc. You can see there's type from, which means from which key you want to map it from. So when particular key is pressed, which key you want to be actually pressed in the eyes of operating system. So in my case, I know, and we'll get back to this, that key code one, so when I press on a one button on a mouse, it will send a signal to operating system as just number one being pressed. And that's what I'm going from. And I'm going to, in my case, I said one just for consistency, but it can be anything. It's again, key one, but with these modifiers. And that maps to that shortcut I just showed you that I configured. It's this option control one. The other thing is conditions. I want it to happen only when two conditions are met. First, my application in focus right now is Fusion and it can be done by this condition. It says front most application if, and you can put a regex where you specify the bundle name. And the second condition that this event, the key press event is coming from that particular device and that device happens to be my mouse. So how do you find this guy, this guy and which key code your mouse is sending? There is this second software, uh, this one with couple main for most application and devices is what I used is helpful. So when you in main and I press on some buttons on my mouse, it shows me which key code being sent for most application can be used to see what's the bundle name for your software of liking. So in my case, I can see it's com.autodesk fusion 360. And finally, for which device vendor ID and device ID are, again, you can go to devices. In my case, I scroll down the last one. This is my mouse and I can see my device ID and product ID. So I can specify those two conditions. Basically, only when I'm in this software and only when event coming from that mouse and when the code is one, it will be mapped in OS to one plus those two modifiers. I set up shortcut and by pressing on a button, I can cause some action in my software. And so, yeah, I can have different combinations in different applications, different mappings in different applications. That's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Good luck.